In today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on how to solve rational inequalities and we are going to answer three questions in order for you to master this lesson. On the first example, we have x minus 1 all over x plus 3 greater than 0. Since one side of the inequality is already equal to 0, so all we have to do is to equate x minus 1 equal to 0 and x plus 3 equal to 0. So x is positive 1 and x equals negative 3. So let us have a number line to check whether negative 3 and positive 1 is included in our solution. On the left, we have negative infinity. On the right is positive infinity. Since our inequality symbol is greater than, that means the value of this expression must be positive because all positive numbers are greater than 0. So let's say we have x equals negative 3. So let's have x minus 1 all over x plus 3 greater than 0. So if you are going to substitute negative 3 on the denominator, you are going to have undefined. And, exp and any expression divided by 0 is undefined. So undefined greater than 0 is false. So I'm going to use open circle for negative 3. That means negative 3 is not included in our solution. So let's say x equals 1. So we have 1 minus 1, that is 0. And 0 divided by any expression, that is 0, greater than 0. So that means this is false. And positive 1 is not included in our solution. That's why I'm going to use open circle. So let us have a number less than negative 3. So let's say x equals negative 4. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative greater than 0. Negative divided by negative is positive greater than 0. So this is true because all positive numbers are greater than 0. So I'm going to shade this part to indicate that this region is included in our solution. So let us have a number between negative 3 and 1. So let's say x is 0. So we have 0 minus 1 is negative and 0 plus 3 is positive greater than 0. So this is negative greater than 0. So this is false because all negative numbers are less than 0. So let's have a number greater than 1. Let's say x is 2. 2 minus 1 is positive. 2 plus 3 is also positive greater than 0. Positive divided by positive is positive greater than 0. So this is true. So I'm going to shade this region. And to write your answer, you're going to start with parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, negative 3, and not included. So I'm going to use a parenthesis for negative 3 because negative 3 is not included in our solution. And then union, and then 1, 1 is not included, comma, up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have x squared minus x minus 30 all over x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. So since one side of the inequality is already equal to 0, so all we have to do is to factor the numerator and equate each of the term into 0. So let's have the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If you multiply, you can get negative 30. And if you add, you can get negative 1. And that is negative 6 and positive 5 all over x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. So let us equate x minus 6 equal to 0, x plus 5 equal to 0, and x plus 1 equal to 0. So x is 6, x is negative 5, and x is negative 1. And then let's have a number line to check whether negative 5, negative 1, and positive 6 is included in our solution. On the left, we have negative infinity, and on the right, we have positive infinity. And our inequality symbol is greater than or equal to. That means the value of this expression must be 0 or positive because all positive numbers are greater than 0. So let's say 
x equals negative 5. So if you are going to substitute negative 5 on the numerator, you are going to have 0. Divide by any expression that is 0 greater than or equal to 0. So this is true because of equal sign. So I'm going to use closed circle for negative 5 to indicate that negative 5 is included in our solution. And let's say x equals negative 1. So if you are going to substitute negative 1 on the denominator, you are going to have 0. And any expression divided by 0, that is undefined, greater than or equal to 0. So that is false. And on negative 1, I'm going to use open serial because negative 1 is not included in our solution. And let's say x equals 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0. You're going to have 0 on the numerator. So this will be 0 greater than or equal to 0. So this is true. So close circle for positive 6. And the next step that we're going to do is to check which of this region is included in our solution. So let's say a number less than negative 5. Let's say negative 6. So we have negative 6 minus 6 is negative. And then negative 6 plus 5 is negative. And negative 6 plus 1, that is negative, greater than or equal to 0. Negative times negative is positive. And positive divided by negative is negative, greater than or equal to 0. So this is false. So I'm not going to shade this region because this one is not included in our solution. So let us have a number between negative 5 and negative 1. Let's say negative 2. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative. Negative 2 plus 5 is positive. And negative 2 plus 1, that is negative greater than or equal to 0. So negative times positive is negative. And negative divided by negative is positive. So this is true because all positive numbers are greater than 0. So I'm going to shade this part to indicate that this region is included in our solution. So let us have a number between negative 1 and 6. Let's say 0. So x is 0. 0 minus 6 is negative. 0 plus 5 is positive, and 0 plus 1 is positive greater than or equal to 0. So negative times positive divided by positive is negative. So this is false. So I'm not going to shade this one. So let's have a number greater than 6. Let's say 7. 7 minus 6 is positive. 7 plus 5 is also positive. 7 plus 1 is positive greater than or equal to 0. So this is positive greater than or equal to 0. So this is true. I'm going to shade this one. And to write our answer, I'm going to start with negative 5. And I'm going to use bracket because we have a closed circle, comma, negative 1. And parenthesis because of open circle, union, bracket. 6, comma, positive infinity. And this will be our answer. In the last example, we have 4 over 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to 1 over x plus 1. So the first step that we're going to do to solve this one is to move 1 over x plus 1 on the other side of the inequality and let us rewrite the inequality as a single rational expression. So let us have 4 over 2x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. So let us have 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 as our denominator. And 2x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 times 4, you are going to have 4 times x plus 1. So the fastest way to simplify this one is to cross multiply. So let's have 4 times x plus 1 minus 1 times 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. 4 times x, that's 4x. 4 times 1, that's 4. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. All over 2x minus 1 
times x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. 4x minus 2x, that is 2x. 4 plus 1, that is 5 all over 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. So let us equate 2x plus 5 equal to 0 together with 2x minus 1 and x plus 1. So x will be negative 5 divided by 2. x will be 1 half. x will be negative 1. And then let us have a number line to check whether negative 5 over 2, negative 1 and 1 half is part of our solution. On the left, we have negative infinity. On the right, we have positive infinity. And our inequality symbol will be greater than or equal to. That means the value of this expression will be zero or positive numbers because all positive numbers are greater than zero. So let's start with x equals negative 5 over 2. If you are going to substitute negative 5 over 2 on the numerator, you are going to have 2 multiplied by negative 5 over 2. That means we are, we are going to have negative 5 and negative 5 plus 5, that is 0. And 0 divided by any expression, that is 0, greater than or equal to 0. So this is true. So I'm going to shade negative 5 over 2. That means this one is included in our solution. So let's say x equals negative 1. If you are going to substitute negative 1 on the denominator, you are going to have 0. That means any expression divided by 0, that is undefined. So this is false. So I'm going to use open circle for negative 1. And then, let's say x equals 1 half. If you are going to substitute this one on 2x minus 1, that is 2 times 1 half, that is 1. And 1 minus 1, that is 0. You are going to have 0 on the denominator. That means any expression divided by 0, that is undefined. So this is false. Open circle for 1 half. And the next step that we're going to do is to check which of this region is included in our solution. So let's have a number less than negative 5 over 2. By the way, negative 5 over 2, that is same as negative 2.5. So let's have negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative. And then we have 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6, minus 1 is negative and then we have negative 3 plus 1, that is negative, greater than or equal to 0. So negative divided by negative is positive, and positive divided by negative is negative, greater than or equal to 0. So this is false, because all negative numbers are less than 0. So let's say a number between negative 5 over 2 and negative 1, let's say negative 2. Negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4, plus 5 is positive. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, minus 1 is negative. Negative 2 plus 1, that is negative. Greater than or equal to 0. So this will be positive, divide by positive, greater than or equal to 0. That means positive is greater than or equal to 0. So this is true. So I'm going to shade this part because this one is included in our solution. So let's say x is 0. That is a number between negative 1 and 1 half. So let us, you're going to have positive 5, so this will be positive, and then negative 1, that's negative, and positive greater than or equal to 0. So this will be positive, divided by negative times positive is negative, so this is negative greater than or equal to 0. That means this is false. And let's say x is a number greater than 1 half. Let's say um, 2. So we have 2 times 2, 4 plus 5 is positive. 
Then, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is positive. 2 plus 1 is positive. So this is positive greater than or equal to 0. So I'm going to shade this part. And to write our answer, you're going to start with negative 5 over 2. I'm going to use bracket because of closed circle up to negative 1. But negative 1 is not included. That's why I'm going to use parenthesis union open circle open parenthesis because of open circle one half comma positive infinity and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all